Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk about how to uninstall or remove malware bytes off of a Mac computer. And the reason why is I've noticed that several people have removed or uninstalled it, but then are left with this malware bytes icon up here at the top, which does run in the background. And so today I'm going to go over how to fully uninstall and remove malware bytes off of a Mac computer. The first thing you'll need to do is go back to the Malwarebytes website and re-download and reinstall Malwarebytes in order for this to work. And so again, you'll just click on this free download, reinstall it. I will post a link down below in the notes to this page in case you need to get back here in order to uh, re-download it. After you have reinstalled Malwarebytes, if it opens up, just go ahead and click on Malwarebytes up in the top left corner and go to quit to close it. And then the next thing you'll want to do is come down here and click on the finder to open up the finder. And then up here at the top, click on go and just look for where it says computer and click on it. And then we want to click on Macintosh HD. Go ahead and open that one up and then come over here to the search box and type in Malwarebytes. And after you have Malwarebytes typed in, just go ahead and hit enter and then You'll notice there's a little plus sign right here. We want to click on that plus sign. And then if we go over here to the left hand side, just make sure that this first option says name. And then make sure the second option says matches. And then type in malware bytes in this box right here. And after you've typed in malware bytes there, go ahead and click on the plus sign again. And then this time click on the drop down and go to system files. If you do not have a system files option, click on other and it will list the system files option there. But we do want to make sure that this says system files and then we want to change it to are included. And then the next thing we want to do is select everything that it lists here. And then next we just want to drag all of this down to the trash. And then after you have moved it all to the trash, be sure to empty the trash to fully delete it. And then you'll just want to go ahead and close everything and restart the computer. After your Mac computer has restarted, you will notice that the Mac icon is no longer up here at the top and that it has fully been removed and uninstalled. And so I hope that helps. If you do have any comments or questions, uh, please post them down below and I will respond as quickly as possible. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day.